go. Oh, Usha. Mm. Usha. And for years, <laughs> oh God have mercy, for years you've been like that wolf with the animals. And then just before your season of destiny, the raw meat shows up. And when the meat shows up, <laughs> you're wondering what's going on. It's like a werewolf once the full moon comes. You don't want to change, but you just seem to see spikes growing and hair and teeth and fangs. And you're asking yourself, what, 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 what's, what's wrong with me? And Paul said, the things I want to do, I can. But the things I don't want to do, I find myself. There. What's going on? You know why your DNA is manifesting? But pastor, the Bible says, when I was a, born again, I, I, I'm a new creature. Yes, it's a check. I told you last week, the promises of God are given that by them you may escape. But this, I've just shown you today, the catch, there's something you need to do. If I write you a check, Serena, 5,000 pounds. You, oh, wow, Pastor Lumide really likes me. 5,000 pounds. Whoa, I can buy me a nice little car, go to Barbados, you know, save some money. You know, I was going to say for my wedding, but you know, these days, apparently I'm told that kind of money can't get you a good wedding. You know, but you know, I can do so much with this. And that check begins to rot on your mantelpiece. Do you have 5,000 pounds? No, you haven't promised for 5,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. you have a promise of five thousand pounds do you take that promise and go to the bank like i said last week by these promises only by the promises can you partake of the divine nature but you've got to partake it, the onus is on you to, like i spoke on sunday when illumination light hits a substance god it creates a shadow and the bible says if you dwell under the shadow of the almighty meaning you once the light hits the substance it is your job to step into the shadow if you stand outside and say wow jehovah jireh provide my needs lord have mercy he's provided my needs you're that broke oh jehovah support my sanctifier i don't need to struggle with pornography and masturbation and fornication and fornication and longer look how god has made a way of escape the shadow is there hey, i'm a new creature i'm a brand new i'm the righteousness some of you have died spiritually quoting that thing before. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the righteous, righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I depressed you enough. Okay. Let me give you the good news. Like I said, Satan sees the prophetic destiny on a lineage and structures the patterns of occurrences in every generation to take advantage you can see the train of thought now from the spirit of sabotage to deal with the prophetic destiny by taking advantage of that lineage's specific DNA the same way God said if by one man sin reigned then also by one man righteousness will reign the Bible says when Christ died we died with him when he was buried we were buried with him now does this look like the same process so are you saying that beyond being my senior brother could Christ actually be my dad Think about it. Jesus is the manifestation of the Godhead, meaning Father, Word, and Spirit bodily. Talk to me. In the book of Matthew and book of Luke, the lineage, the lineage of Jesus is traced. Mm -hmm. It's traced. And in one of them, it's traced not back to Adam, it's traced back to God. If you read it, I think it's I think it's the Luke one. The lineage of Jesus is traced back, son of this, son of that, son of this, son of that, back to God.
God. God said, son, you've got to detach yourself from a lineage to go back and save it. The guy who broke the lineage of Abraham and Joseph had to go away into Egypt and be separated from it and come back to deal with it. The guy who broke blah, delivered Israel from Egypt had to go out of Egypt to Midian and come back to bring deliverance. Are you with me? Are you with me? Everybody stand up. Can you pass me that sword, please. Like I said tonight, my job has been to show you your enemy and put a sword in your hand and clench it. Clench it. Now I want you to picture Satan smiling. I once watched a movie, I can't remember what movie it was now, about a, a, a hero who went to war, you know, and he wasn't sure who killed his elder brother, or his father, sorry, but he, he kind of guessed he was somebody, but he never really knew. And then he faced the same person in sword combat, and after he was losing, and he was about to be killed, and then just before the guy killed him, he said, you're weak and I'm going to kill you the same way I killed your father. Something. I'm not sure what it was. Something in the guy leaped. Now, 